Uh, good afternoon. Before I continue, I just I want to say that I'm very proud because I had the opportunity to, to know good teachers here. And in this, in this course, uh, I learned a lot from you because you are a good teacher and after that in, in, in our country, you are going to do the best as an English teacher that you are, that you are. Okay? Talking about critical concepts, uh, I, I didn't want to write uh, the best critical concept that I chose. Just I want to say that you as an English teacher, as a teacher, all of these critical concepts are the best. You, you can apply everything, e every critical concept uh, for, for your career, for teaching in this, in this teacher learning process uh, is useful. All, all, that, all those critical concepts. Uh, we knew about cap, sub, uh, many others. That, that we learn here in this in this course. So before I begin, I decided I chose I chose trifle strategy uh, because uh, the with this strategy uh, you can you can know the background of the student. Uh, it can uh, it can relate to the content area topics and it will help the students to understand multiple texts and then it helps the students to identify many ideas and segments the text and after that the students the students very strong in each connections to the topic before uh, before I start my my class uh, just I wanna I wanna do something special please raise your right finger please Right, your right fingers, and then you are going to book to your partner on the right. Please, three times. One, One two, 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 three. three. Okay, stop. <laughs> Carla, your partner, your partner calls uh, a pain. Calls, calls a pain. Yes. Now it's your turn. Please, with your left finger, book to your partner. Again. Oh, oh my God! Oh. You probably cause yes. Cause me, right? Now, what what are you going to do for 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 this solving for this for, for solving this thing? Now you are going to give three kids three kisses in that in that in that place where you cook right now. <laughs> Okay, okay, the topic, the topic for today is everyday activities and this is the county gadgets, this is, please, everybody read with me. We will focus on everyday activities, then That's right. And then the next language attitudes are listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Please, everybody read again. The listening is. We will listen to the teacher talking about the activity. The students. And the second language objective objective is speaking. The student will speaking very the next is reading. Everybody read. Okay, the, the last is writing. Please, everybody read. Students Okay, let's get started right away. Okay, please. Before I continue the class, at least I need two groups. One group from five of five students and another group of five students, please. Can you can you move to this group please? Five, one, two, three, four, please. Diego. And then we have how many? Two, four, please. Okay. 
this is the trifold. And you're going to apply three, four, five, two one, pass down to your partners. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Okay, now you have the topic. What is the topic? Everyday activities. Okay, in everyday activities we have three, three short or small readings that we have now. And then the first one is, what is the first one? Meal time. Meal time. And the second one is? At the grocery store. And, and the, uh, the next is? In the car. In the car. So, now. You are going to write or draw or draw what do you think about meal time? What do you think about at the grocery store and in the car? But before before to do that, today, today I am I am eating with my with my partners. After that, I am walking with my friends. After that, I I I I am studying because tomorrow I, I will have a test, a big test. So now you are going to imagine, you are going to think what is meal time, what is the activity, what is the action that they are going to, that people do in these activities that you have there in the trifle. Please. You have just two minutes for doing that. Please, you can draw or you can write sentence or with any words that you have there. This is for activation. This is the period knowledge, the background that the students have. Students have. Okay. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, of course. Now. In group, you are going to be the green group. You are going to take just three sticky notes for, for each one, for each uh, activity that you have in there. Please take three and then pass to your partners. You are going to be the yellow group. Please take three for each one. And then, in group, you are going to share. What did you write or what did you, uh, did you write, did you draw in your in your, in your trifle about these activities, please. Share. Share, share together, please. Share. Share together. I have to. Uh, uh, it could be the breakfast or the dinner or the lunch or the brown. Yeah. Let me. During the day. You could buy food, <laughs> okay, I don't know, I don't know if you, if you write, if you wrote the, the vocabulary that we learned in the, the last class. This was, do you remember what that's mean? Meal? Do you remember that's oh, meal? Food. Mm -hmm. Food, very good. Children? Kids. Kids, right. Shopping? Money. Shopping? Bye 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 Mm. Attracting, yeah. talking, uh, speaking, uh, speaking. Uh, the action, sharing, speaking, 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 talking. Right. Okay. I don't know if some of you uh, wrote uh, with 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 this.
this vocabulary that we learned in the class, the last class. I don't know. I'm going to check after, right? And then, uh, for the connection, uh, we are going to read the, the short, the small readings that we have. And the daily activities that we have at meal time. Meal time, please. Cesar, can you read, please? And after that, you say a name uh, for the partner read the next. Okay. Meal time is a time for families to come together. To come so together. parents, however, may feel. If you, can, if you can't see it for the whole meal, try to see them talk with your child, your child for a short time. Remember to use the time to prepare the meal and cleaning up for conversations. Deal. At the grocery store, shopping for groceries is a routine activity that is sometimes boring for children. You can make it interesting by asking your child to help you pick out items, but then put them in the car and check them out at a register. Uh, that's that's our class. Read the car. Read the car. Please read it. Everything. Okay. Most of us, right? Most of us. I can read. Read the car. Most of us ride in a car or on a bus or train as part of our daily routine. This can be a nice together time for you and your child. Children love to look how they do. They also like to feel the emotion of the car, bus, or brain. Turn on riding time into talking, singing, and playing time. Okay, now I'm going to give you the, the readings. Please, for you. Now you're going to read too long. Just you have one minute. Yeah. Read along. Okay, now, please, you alone, you are going to write uh, what people do in these activities, in these daily activities that you have and that, that you read in this in these readings. Please, you alone write new ideas about about in the car, about the grocery store, and the, and the, and the first one that was uh, at meal time. Meal time, please, along. In the next, that is, what do, what, what do you learn? What are you learning about these activities? Please. The next. Remember, I, I gave you the sticky notes, please write there. Yes, please. And then you have the green sticky notes. You have just two minutes, and you are going to add new details about these activities. Nice. Now, with your partner, you are going to share what did you write, what did you learn now with this activity, what did you write in there with your partner. Just one minute, please. Share with your partners. Okay. At meal, okay. time. It's time for the family. Together. Yeah, and the first one, eat together with the whole family. Oh. Second, make interesting things. Mm. Yeah. Children can look throughout the window. Where? People are picking up items. And in the car, people are singing. Okay, in the first paragraph, say that the people are preparing things and cleaning the stuff that they use in that. And in the second one, about the grocery store, she said that she's shopping something and asking what, what they want. Uh, in the car, almost all the time, the children are singing, talking, and playing with the thing that they have. Okay, uh, please, Diego, what do you write? Please, everybody, listen up. Please, listen up. Diego, what do you write? Please, just choose one of your new sentences or your new... At the meantime, yeah, at the meantime. we eat together with the whole family. Good. You please, Edwin, can you read whatever you want in the next? In the, meantime, uh, in the grocery store. Groceries, uh, it says that it is boring for children. 
Ah, okay, very good. Now, uh, for affirmation, you as a homework, it will be as a homework because we have no, no too much time to do it in, in the classroom. You are going to do three, three sentences about, about these daily activities that people do, usually do, every day. Please, uh, then we are going to review and we complete it of the, all of the language, language of the bit in here. Listen, we will listen to the teacher talking about the activities. Yes. Okay. Yes. The students will listen to the teacher read about activities he does. Yes. yes. Speaking, a student will speak in pairs and share their, their activities. Yes. In yes. reading, a student will read in total group with the mini story called at Miltai, the grocery store, and in the car. Yes. yes. And writing skill, students will write down and draw pictures to give the meaning of the daily activities. Yes. 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 And students will individually make a short story about their daily activities using words learning in the lesson. It is for home. Yes, right? yes. I told you before, I told you uh, that you are going to do uh, just sentences, no, no a summary, no summary, right? That's all. Thank you for being here. Tomorrow I'm going to check this homework. Goodbye, students.